And today, for the first time, the media also got to see the inside surveillance video from the Billings murders. We also got to see crime scene photographs that helped explain even more what happened inside. Fox 10's Christina Leavenworth has been following the story from day one. She joins us now live. Christina. Good evening, Bob. Today was certainly tough. For the past seven weeks, we've talked about this family, and we've just today we finally got to see what they went through just moments before their, de their death. The couple, uh, we saw them face their killers, and we also saw what their children were doing while their parents were murdered. Oh, it certainly wasn't easy looking at it. That we. This is how it all went down. We first see a child go through the hallway, then following them out of the kitchen comes Bud Billings. Then after that, we see his, him raise his hands and the suspects come on in after him. You see Melanie Billings come on out and clutch the couch and hide behind it. They uh, force Bud down to his knees and then they, uh, you see, It's hours of video from 16 different cameras, but all the action happens in just five minutes. The most chilling part is seeing men dressed as ninjas go after Bert and Melanie Billings while a child is in the same room. Another camera shows a little girl in her bedroom, covering her ears and watching the men leave her home. Some of the cameras do not show anything of value about the crime. Some of the cameras do. Uh, we were able to narrow that 16 hours down to approximately about one hour of tape that actually has to do with the case. The video was shown right here in this room. I was sitting right here. As you can see, we each had an individual monitor, but a supervisor was also behind each and every one of us, making sure no one copied it. Well, the judge has directed us to do everything necessary to ensure that these documents and photographs and the videotape are not reproduced or published in any manner. The main action happened in the living room. We first saw a child walk into the room. Bird Billings walked out of the kitchen wearing jean shorts and no shirt. Billings' hands went up as the suspects came in. Melanie Billings gripped the couch, trying to hide behind it. Bird was shoved down and guns were pointed at his head. It appears he was shot in the leg. The suspects then led him into the bedroom area while Melanie grabbed the child and hid behind the couch. Bird then comes out and motions her to come to the bedroom. That's the last we saw of them until we looked at the crime scene pictures. Bird was laying face down in front of the bed. He'd been shot several times. Melanie was shot to death in the hallway leading to the bedroom. Bob and Lenny's, it certainly wasn't easy looking at this video and the photographs, and it's totally understandable why the family didn't want these images released to the public, you know, to be able to be reproduced. So, you know, the state attorney's office has said not that many people have requested to see the video, but it will be available for the general public as early as next week. Reporting live from the Pensacola Newsroom, Christina Leavenworth, Fox 10 News.